Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. Today I'm wanting to demonstrate something that may or may not work. It's whether or not we can tell how long to develop a film for in a specific developer by using a spot test. Now I've never done this before and I don't know if it's true or untrue. So let's get in the darkroom and let's have a look to see if this works. So what is a spot test? Let's talk about that first of all. Now a spot test is where we take a small piece of film that's been just exposed to light, not had any photographs taken on it, but this is just an end piece of film that was sticking out of the cassette uh, when I took it out of the camera. So I've just cut this off and it's emulsion side up. That's very important. Um, and a spot test is when you drop a spot of developer onto the film in the middle. Um, by dropping a spot of developer onto this film, we will see a small circle form as the developer uh, sort of sits on top of the emulsion and we'll see a color change in this emulsion. Um, initially, it will go lighter and then it will slowly darken. Now, as soon as I drop the spot of developer onto this emulsion, I'm going to start the timer so we can see how long it takes for the developer to darken this emulsion. And I'm going to stop the timer when the color of the spot is the same as the color on the rest of this emulsion that is still dry, that has had no developer on it. And that's very important. We don't want this to go past that um, with our timing. It's when it's the same color again as the emulsion. Now I've got a known developer here. I'm going to be using for my first test D23. I'm using it stock. Uh, of course you can do this test with diluted developers as well um, and it theoretically might work. I don't know. I've never done this. So this is really going to be the proof of the pudding whether or not we can tell. Now there's a little bit more to know. When the color of the spot of developer turns into the same color or darkens to the same color as the rest of this emulsion, we'll stop the timer. We've measured a number of seconds that it took that to happen and we'll divide by four and that should be the number of minutes to develop our film for. Now nobody is saying this is deadly accurate but what they do say is that this is a close proximity to how long to develop the film for. That's quite an important thing when you're testing new developers. Where do you start? If it's something unusual that doesn't have much um, information out there, where do you start your development time for? So this might help us very much. Now I'm using D23. I know how long it takes to develop this film which is FP4. I know that. So this will prove how close this spot test is going to be. Next I'll test a different developer but first of all let's look at this. So I'm going to get open up my bottle of D23. I'm going to take a small spot of this developer out. It's a small spot. I'm going to use this eyedropper to take some developer out and I'm going to put a spot of it onto that film. So I have to get this timer started as soon as I do this. So here we go. The spot's going on now and I'm starting the timer. Now another thing it says on this internet page that I was directed to is um, look at this, watch this spot forming from about one meter away. Don't be right up close to it. I think the further away you are the better it is to gauge when it darkens to the same color as the rest of the emulsion. And look, you can actually see it has lightened up a tad. So it's lightened up first of all. And we're coming up to our first minute. And it's beginning to darken. I'm seeing, I can still see though it's lighter. I don't know if you can on the video, but I can see it's lighter still, but it's getting close. It's getting close and I think it's beginning to darken now. It's beginning to get darker than 
the surrounding emulsion. So there we are. So roughly 60 seconds, maybe actually slightly less than that. I was talking a bit uh, while it was darkening. So let's just say it was 60 seconds. So what's 60 seconds divided by four? Well, 20 is 80, 15 is four. So about 15 minutes. Ah, well, I know that this takes eight and a half minutes to develop FB4 D23. So I'm not sure if that is accurate. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this test again. I'm going to reset this. And this time I'm going to use the theory that I know the development time of this film in this developer. So I should be able to notice at the right number of seconds, four times the development time in minutes, I should be able to notice where it's at at that point. So I know it takes eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. So let's multiply that by four, that's 32. So in around about 32 seconds, if this is true, the spot test, then the colors should be the same. And I'll take a great notice of this. I'll be very careful to see how it looks. So let's do it again. I'm going to take a little bit of my D23 and I'm going to put a spot on there and I'm starting the clock. So immediately it's gone lighter. Five seconds. Ten seconds. It's still much lighter. Fifteen seconds. Okay. Twenty. Yeah, it's still lighter, no doubt about it. 30 seconds, definitely lighter. I'm watching very carefully. I'm about a meter away, maybe, maybe 75 centimeters from where I'm looking. Now it's beginning to take on a similar color and I think I should stop it now. So 50 seconds. So 50 seconds, divide that by four. So half of 50 is 25, half of 25 is 12. So it's saying 12 minutes. And that would be much more development than I would give. Let's try this test again. And this time we'll use FX15. I've made up a little amount of FX15 one plus one here from stock solution that I have and I'm going to be testing this. Now I know that it takes 11 and a half minutes to process FB4 um, to the right contrast level. So theoretically we should see the drop be the same color as the surrounding emulsion in four times 11 and a half minutes which is around 44 to 46 seconds. Remember it's the seconds divided by four for the number of minutes to develop the film. That's the, the theory in this test. So let's try this again. Completely different developer, completely different time. We're looking for around about 46 seconds. Let's see if it can do it. So I'm going to put my spot on. There, the spot's on and I'm starting oops, the timer. Just like the D23, the emulsion has immediately lightened up where the developer has been put on it as it soaks into the emulsion and starts to develop the film. We're at 20 seconds, still looking quite a lot lighter. This is not a good test to see if your developer is active because um, although it might develop film, a low activity or spent developer will still develop a film if, if it's in there long enough. Oh, it's coming up to around about the right color now. And there, I'm gonna stop it. 45 seconds. Well, that actually has worked. Very interesting. 45 seconds, and we said it would be around about what, 40, 44, 46 seconds, and there it is. 
Ah, this is getting more interesting. So d23 didn't work, but fx15 did. Let me try another Thenedone developer. It might be something to do with that. Let's give it a shot. This time I have the same FP4 and I've made up a gainer vitamin C developer. So it's ascorbic acid and phenidone. Um, and we're going to see if it's maybe phenidone developers that work with this system. So let me zero this timer. And I know that it takes six and a half minutes to develop this FB4 to the right contrast with the gain of vitamin C developer. So let's call it six minutes, six fours are 24. So we're looking at 24 to 26 seconds. And we should see the color become the same from the drop. So I've got the vitamin C. By the way, I need to tell you, all of these tests are being done at 20 centigrade. So here we go. I'm going to drop there, it's on and it's immediately turned light color, as you can see. And I'm staying well back. I'm staying at my meter a distance away. And we have 10 seconds. Twenty. It's still much lighter than the emulsion around it. 30 seconds. No. This has gone way past the time I would have expected. It's starting to darken now. It's still a bit light. Starting to... Almost there. Almost... There. I'm going to stop it now. There is a ring around it, but the center is beginning to darken beyond the emulsion. And look at that. It was about 50 seconds, 50 to 55 seconds, which would mean if I was using this to give me an idea of how long to develop this film for with this developer, this gainer vitamin C developer, I would have said using this test about, let's see, what's a quarter of 55? Well, at least... 10 would be 40. It's about 14 seconds. And that would be 14, sorry, 14 minutes. The seconds divided by four, 14 minutes. And that would be way too long. It would be so overdeveloped, it would be impossible to get a print from. So, you know what? I don't think this spot test actually works for us. Yeah, FX15 it worked for, but that's it. I mean, you can't rely on a spot test using different developers if it's unreliable. Well, there we have it. I was hopeful that we might have a really good tip here to share that you could work out your development time from this spot test. But honestly, just those three tests alone are telling me it's just too unreliable. It, it's not even close. If it was within a couple of minutes, I would say, hey, this isn't too bad. But it's not even within a couple of minutes. So. It doesn't work. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys subscribing and giving me likes. Thank you so much. And to my patrons, you keep this channel on the air. Thank you so much. And I will see you all next week.